हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 1.11 चैप्टर नंबर 1 इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनेमिक्स फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकोंकी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज अ स्टीम टरबाइन रिसीव्स अ स्टीम फ्लो ऑफ 1.35 किलोग्राम पर सेकंड and the power output is 500 kw the heat loss from the casing is negligible calculate part 1 the change of specific enthalpy across the turbine when the velocity is at entries and exit and the difference in elevation are negligible second part the change of specific enthalpy across the turbine when the velocity at entrance is 60 meter per second the velocity at exit is 360 meter per second and the inlet pipe is 3 meter above the exhaust pipe so for these conditions first we have to find the change of specific enthalpy while the difference in elevation and entrance velocities and exit velocity they are negligible in second case we have given some information and values of those velocities and elevation for that again we will find the change of specific enthalpy so first of all we will write the given information in this problem that is the given data so the mass flow rate is 1. 35 kg per second power output that is w dot and it is 500 kw so by convention this is the output from the system so it will be considered as negative heat loss is negligible means that transfer of heat from the system is zero zero watt simply if we want to write the unit so the unit of heat transfer is watt also first for first in uh, first part we have to find change in enthalpy that is h1 minus h2 let's suppose before entering to the turbine the state of the steam is 1 and after exiting from the turbine its state becomes 2 so this this is the enthalpy drop h1 is at the inlet of the turbine and h2 is the enthalpy, specific enthalpy of the steam at exit of the turbine this is in first case we will find this and second we have to again find h1 minus h2 but for this the situation is now changed this is the schematic of the first case we have same elevation that is z1 and z2 z1 is equal to z2 velocity c1 is equal to c2 for this case we will find h1 minus h2 and for second case when there is difference in elevation z1 is suppose 0 so z2 will be 3 meter above from the exhaust pipe of the turbine and c1 is 60 meter per second and c2 is 360 meter per second this is the general steady flow open system and this is the steady flow energy equation so for the solution of this problem we will apply the steady flow energy equation in this problem so coming to the solution of this problem 
this is the steady flow energy equation where m dot is the mass flow rate of the steam h1 is the specific enthalpy at the inlet of the turbine c1 is the velocity at the inlet of the turbine z1 is the elevation of the pipe from the reference line to the pipe q dot is the heat transfer w dot is the power output and h2 is the specific enthalpy at the exit of the turbine c2 is the velocity of the steam at exit of the turbine z2 is the elevation at exit pipe of the turbine so applying this energy equation for first case when we have same c1 c2 and z1 z2 so writing this steady flow energy equation m dot into h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus z1 g plus q dot plus w dot is equal to m dot h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus z2 g so for first case this term will be zero because c1 and c2 is zero so the effect of both will be cancelled similarly z1 and z2 cancel the effect of each other so also q dot is zero because there is no heat transfer across the casing so rearranging this we can write that m dot into h1 plus w dot is equal to m dot h2 so rearranging this we can write that m dot into h1 minus h2 is equal to minus w dot so putting the values the value of m dot is 1.35 kg per second and the value of w dot is minus 500 kw so solving for h1 minus h2 we can write that minus w dot divided by m dot where the value of w dot is minus 500 kW divided by the value of m dot is 1.35 kg per second so simplifying this the enthalpy drop comes out 370 kJ per kg so this is the solution for part 1 for part 2 considering this case b this is suppose case a and this is case b now coming to this b case for that again we will rewrite the steady flow energy equation again writing the same equation m dot h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus z1 g plus q dot plus w dot is equal to m dot h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus z2 g here heat transfer is zero the remaining 
quantities are given to us. So we can write that m dot h1 m dot into h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus z1 g plus w dot is equal to m dot into h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus z2 into g. So we can write this again for h1 minus h2. So rearranging this and writing it in arranged form. So w dot will be equal to m dot h2 minus h1 plus c2 square minus c1 square by 2 plus z2 minus z1 g is common in both terms. So putting the values we can write that w dot is minus 500 m dot is 1.35 kilogram per second and we are finding the enthalpy drop so h2 minus h1 plus c2 is given that is 360 square minus 60 square and its value are in meter per second so dividing it by 1000 to convert the value of enthalpy into kilojoule per kilogram so dividing by 1000 this term also plus z2 is 0 while z1 is 3 meter again we will divide this term by 1000 to convert it to kilojoule per kilogram because the, here this term is also in kilowatt minus 500 kilowatt and the value of g is 9.8 so simplifying this and solving for enthalpy draft h1 minus h2 the value of h2 minus h1 comes out here minus 4 double 3 kilojoule per kilogram but we are interested to find the change in enthalpy or drop in the enthalpy that is h1 minus h2 so the value of h1 minus h2 comes out plus 4 double 3 kilojoule per kilogram so this is the required solution of part b and this is all about the solution of problem 1.11 thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos